yes, we conducted this study inside the Harmony Alliance, which is a uh, European cooperative project with uh, gather big data from public and private sources, and uh, we were able to perform an analysis on 1,438 patients with neurodegenerative arthrosis, uh, a group of cystic leukemia, uh, which is uh, historically characterized by this prognosis, by aggressive feature of the disease, and uh, um, high risk of early deaths, but, and uh, thanks to the uh, access to target therapies, the prognosis is radically changed, especially in uh, standard risk patients, those presenting a diagnosis with less than 10,000 lagosarpine microliter. Uh, although many questions remain unanswered, such as the proper management of high risk patients, and uh, optimal subset of patients would benefit uh, of this uh, chemo-free regimen. So in this study, we decided to investigate these points, and we um, gain interesting insights about uh, the possibility of expanding the chemo-free regimen, possibly outside the standard risk group that is the actual indication in Europe for this uh, schedule. So we were able to confirm some uh, uh, previous literary findings, such as uh, the um, pretty high rate of early deaths, so 6%, but in some cases there's even more. And we're able to perform analysis on secondary APL, which is, uh, which is not necessarily a, a worse prognosis than primary ones. And uh, we're able also to find uh, independent factors related to overall survival and healthy survival, as well as uh, cumulative the incidence of relapse. And that's really interesting because we found that there's no difference uh, among uh, risk groups for uh, incidence of relapse, which can uh, indicate a common biological substrate of the disease across uh, these groups.